The second annual international festival of drawing, known as Pencil Lead, gathers artists and cartoonists from Benin, France, Ivory Coast, and Togo. The workshop aims to promote various forms of drawing and encourages young artists to use their work to help address social issues. VOA's Paul Diho has more. Emanuela Gildo is working on her latest drawing at the French Institute in Lomé, Togo. The 35-year-old is a cartoonist and designer who works for the country's weekly People magazine and likes to use subjects around her to bring out ideas in her drawings and cultures. Emanuela says she would like to see more upcoming artists joining the field because compared to other professions, it's not getting enough attention. I think it's great. It's good for all young people and for those who think that women can't draw or those who think they are useless at drawing. They should know it's for everyone. The festival brought together artists from West Africa and Europe to share ideas and showcase some of their best work. The event attracted both amateur and professional artists. Art exhibited included music, comics and paintings. Washington-based artist Christopher Mosby says that the artists from this region of West Africa need to keep studying, drawing and sketching to perfect their skills. It takes a certain energy and dedication that, that the youth have. I mean, I remember being young and having that kind of drive, that kind of passion. And it's good to see it amongst them because they're, they're only going to get better and practice their craft. Even the ones who are very good right now will be even better three, four, five, six years from now. And that's great. You know, it's, it's, um, it's, it's, it's really wonderful to see that. Many participants were particularly taken by classes in culture, drawing, and spent time exploring techniques. Donald Akalasu, an editorial cartoonist, says cartoons appeal more to readers in Togo because they summarize ideas well. Editorial cartoons can easily express what we mean. Given that many readers are lazy, they do not read, cartoons are short, they can have what they have on one or two pages in a drawing. I think, in fact, that the newspaper cartoon has its place in the world press. Organizers also want to bring about 30,000 students across the country to their workshops to help nurture talent and hold courses on artistic entrepreneurship. I really think Togolese artists are very talented, but that talent must be accompanied and promoted in order for them to make a living. So what they have here is fabulous. It's very interesting. Christopher Mosby also stresses the need for African artists to do more to promote their work abroad and take advantage of the internet and eliminate the middlemen because they don't need big companies to sell their artwork. Well, just to get your name out there, it's, um, it's, it's a competitive field, just like anything else. And to make money from it, it's, uh, that, that's a challenge. A lot of people nowadays go independently, which is, is um, a little more of an advantage nowadays. 20, 30 years ago, you really had to be with a, a, a company, some type of company, maybe a big company or a small company, but it was very difficult financially to go at it alone. Whereas nowadays with the internet, you can do web publishing or you can do print on demand. You can literally just sell it yourself. You don't need a big company, although that would help. The workshop organizers emphasize that cartoonists should be respected because they play a key role in forming public opinion, bringing about desired change and promoting peace. Paul Liho, VOA News.